Hi, it's me again with Corrodo Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file right here, and they want to they want to use object to path, but they don't have object to path. So, I think object to path started in 2019. But not only that, she's got like the student version or the home version that evidently doesn't have object to path, which is underneath your object manager and. Uh, so this isn't really about object to pass, so I don't know when it, I can't remember when it started. So we're gonna use the blend tool. I made a copy and I made a uh, hairline so I could really kind of tell. And I clicked on this path, and if you look, it's a curve. So we're gonna go up to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and because it's a curve, we can pick on this curve line, and we've got 15.58, basically, so I'll round it up. Then I, you know, I don't know how far she wants them separated, but I thought about, well, let's change this to 0.8 and move it over and have them spaced out kind of that far. And then really you add 0.8 to that too. So we're going to go 144.8 to give us a distance. So what I'm doing, I have, if you do the 1.4, it's just going to not have this distance. So we can measure this distance and we'll just, we don't have to, because we kind of know what it is. And it's 0.16. So we're gonna add 0.16 to that 144. Get out a calculator, 1.444 plus uh, 0.6, I believe it was. And now we got 2.04. So we're gonna call it two. I'm going to take away this. Whoop, you need two items. So we're going to select just that item. So we're going to take this, and if you remember, our cover is 15.5 divided by 2. So now we're going to go to Effects and Blend, and we're going to say, uh, well, let's get out of calculator again. I mean, I know the result, but 15.58 divided by 2 is 7.9, so 8. So we're going to blend it 8 times but we've already got two, so we only need to blend it six times. I'm gonna blend, go down here to blend a path or new path, put it on our path. Now you see they're not even, but if we go here and blend along full path, now all of them are equal. Now, I don't know if she, where she's wanting the, this is evidently some Canadian uh, flag, well, the maple leaf, so I don't know where she wants these, you know, actually on this. So we can, there's several things we can do before we, uh, of course that's gonna make our path bigger, but we can figure that out. So what we could do is take this structure and go up to effects and contour, contour the outside. Uh, let's just, point one's not near enough. Let's go point five. So now we have a new item, we, we've got to go and break the contour apart. We're going to select this now, and you can see it's a curve. I close down my Docker window, go to uh, Properties, and pick Curve. Now we've got 20.3, so that's pretty good if we're going to say two inches, so we need 10 of these. So we're going to pick this as a path. I'm going to select both those. I'm the world's worst of shutting down. Uh, so we need, uh, there were 20, so we need 10. So we've already got two, so we're gonna make it eight and we're gonna hit apply. Then we're gonna go down here to new path and we're gonna put it on that path and then go up here to blend along full path and see what I did now. Now we can go here and go up to object. Well, matter of fact, you've got to select it all and go up to object and break the five objects apart. Then we're gonna take away that line and we're gonna take this and we're just gonna fill it in with red. I don't know what color red that is. We could get out the uh, color eyedropper tool and test that and then put it in that square. And then of course you would do the same thing to your items. And what, the best way to do that would be to set your Dutch factor on like 10 inches, move this out of the way and then select all these and turn them a red and you can always do the same 
with the eyedropper. So there is one way to do it. Now, if you notice, they're all uh, perpendicular or straight up and down around the deal. We can do them where they're not. And I might look at that and make a second video. <clears throat> and I just don't know where she wants the uh, where she wants the leaves at on the on the uh, logo or structure or whatever this is. Because you could uh, very easily, let me zoom in here. I'm just backing up to before we had the first blend. Well, I must have done a, I'll tell you what, we'll just do that. We'll just take these two and let's blend them the same amount of times now, but it's going to be smaller. Then go to blend the new path because you could also do this and then blend them along full path and hit apply. And, you know, and you could actually, and I might even make a video on that. You could have one on each corner without a doubt if that's what you wanted. But we could try a couple of things now by, uh, well, first of all, you've always got to go and break the blend apart. And then I'm going to select it all again and go to object and group and ungroup it. And then our weld tool should work. And let's try welding it. If they wanted something like that, and then if they fill this in with red, um, you know, that would be an option. Of course, you'd want red, you know, and just leaves on the corner. And you could, we could spin those leaves, and that's what I'm going to do in the next video. And, um, you know, you could do, if you had this group together, let me set the nut factor on 10 inches again. Move that out of the way. Group this together. Control G. Move this back. Now you've got, if we look down here, we've got two objects. Then you could try back minus front or front minus back and get total different, you know, looks. Uh, you could uh, intersect it. And it's going to do this right here and uh, where your leaves are going to be uh, just totally different looking. I don't, I, Sometimes I wish I would ask questions more about really what they want before I start the video, but maybe that'll help her. And I'm going to, I will make a second one on how to make the leaves, um, you know, kind of turn around the object. Anyway, I hope that helped her a little bit. Thank you for watching.